and you can move directly to the next slide. So basically, it's going to be super short. It's an introduction to the country updates panels. And we just wanted to bring everybody's back to the global question of the monitoring and basically has assessing progress. Um, and I wanted to basically, on behalf of the Secretariat, just remind the existing tools because it was rightfully flagged by a few of you during the, um, the side meetings that we had this morning and yesterday. It would be good if, as a global task force, we managed to systematize a little bit the, the reporting on where we stand in terms of progress is made toward the roadmap targets. And I just wanted to remind everybody before we move to the country updates, what are the two key existing tools that have been developed by the GTFCC since the launch of the GTFCC, um, the, the, the roadmap of 20, in 2017. So basically, it's super short. It's to highlight those existing tools, remind uh, as if we needed that, what we have committed to achieve as a global task force. So two tools, one is available in the global roadmap. It's the global monitoring framework. So this is very like the high level targets. Second tool is a bit m is, is more operational oriented. It's a set of 16 indicators that are listed within the NCP interim guiding document. And my last point on this slide was really, it's not just to remind you that, it's more also a call to all country representatives and also to all of us as a task force to make sure that for the next annual meeting edition, we are able to report on those indicators. You will see in the country updates, because we had included a few slides, including slides listing those indicators, I think that some countries have been able to fill those tables, we completely also recognize that it is not always possible for all the countries because this is based on a series of indicators within the NCP guiding interim document and some countries do not necessarily have the same need of developing an NCP. It can be called other, something different, my point is, than NCP. So for this year, it will still remain an imperfect, um, let's say, reporting exercise in terms of assessing activities as per those indicators, but it's also a call for all of us here for next year to be ready to report based on those indicators. Matteo, oh no, I'll do it, sorry. So this, you know that, right? So I do, I do, I'm not gonna repeat this, but I just wanted to highlight, if you go back to the roadmap, Annex C, this is where you're gonna get all of the outcome indicators, so basically, the reporting exercise from countries in, is feeding this global exercise. The reporting exercises we had yesterday from the Secretariat, from the CSP, from the technical working groups, is also feeding this global monitoring framework. Here it's just like a snapshot of what we have committed to achieve as per the roadmap. Um, the slides will be shared, but again, this is existing resources. I'm just flagging it so you're able to go back to them and, 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 and flag it. So just a quick reminder, we have the reduction uh, in number of deaths. You know, our ultimate goal is to basically reduce mortality by 90% and to have no more uncontrolled outbreaks. And these here are the intermediary milestones that we agreed upon as a task force. As you know, we still have a bit of work uh, to be done. However, a part of these things are on track. As part of the global assessment exercise of where what has been achieved so far over the past five first years of the roadmap and the work that we have been doing with, with GHV and the development of the logical framework, but also all of this exercise around looking behind us what was done or not. One thing we will, we, will, we will work on for the 12 coming months is to be able to report more specifically on those different pieces. But in order to do so, we need to be able to integrate also the precise uh, monitoring and, and reporting exercises coming from countries. So I'll finish with just this slide. This is the other piece of, uh, well, the other monitoring uh, document that I was referring to. So it is in this document, the National Cholera Plan, the interim guiding document uh, to develop NCPs. And on the right, you see it's one of the pages at the end of the document. And this is where you have the 16 indicators highlighted 
with detail in terms of what it means, wh what should be used in terms of numerator, denominator, etc. So just wanted to flag that and to formally, on behalf, I think, of, of, of the task force, ask that for next year we are able to report on those set of indicators. And Joseph, dear chair, I'll hand it over to you. <laughs>